system and then how we can check the stability of the system using the Nyquist plot. So let's take a problem. Okay, so our problem is a unity feedback system has a loop transfer function. Transfer function is given to us gs equals to s plus 2 upon s plus 1 s minus 1 and using the Nyquist criteria we have to determine the system stability that is whether the system is open loop or closed loop system or overall it is stable. Okay, so let's solve this problem. In the first step uh, to draw the Nyquist plot, we will put this S equals to J omega in the transfer function. Okay, so putting S equals to J omega, we have G J omega equals to j omega plus 2 and j omega plus 1 j omega minus 1 okay so this is we have obtained g j omega by by replacing this s by j omega now in the next step we are going to find out the magnitude and phase angle of G, J, Omega. Magnitude it is represented by M and this is given by we have here under root of Omega square plus 4 upon under root of Omega square plus 1 and here we are going to have Omega square plus minus 1 whole square. Because here we are having j omega plus 2, so its magnitude will be the square of the, because if we have x upon y, sorry, we have x plus j y, then its magnitude will be under root of x square plus y square, okay? So here, under root of omega square plus 4 square, 2 square, that is 4. Here, under root of omega square plus 1 square here omega square plus under root uh, plus minus 1 whole square so this is the magnitude of g j omega okay now phase angle phase angle for this function it is represented by phi and it will be tan inverse of in the numerator we are having j omega plus 2 so it tan inverse of y by x that is imaginary part upon the real part so tan inverse of omega upon 2 okay now for denominator we will have minus sign here tan inverse of omega upon 1 And for this, we are going to have tan inverse of omega upon minus 1. Because the real part is minus 1. Now, to plot the, to find out the tan theta, we have a, from the quadrants, if you want to find out that what will be this, let's study that how we can find out the tan theta of a number 
of a complex number. Complex number is Z, that is X plus I Y. Okay, this is a complex number having X as the real part and Y as the imaginary part. This is the real axis, imaginary axis. Real here, here the angle is 0 degrees, 360 degrees minus. We have minus 270 degrees, minus 180 degrees, then minus 90 degree, plus 90 degree. This is, okay. We have drawn all here. This is our first quadrant, second quadrant, third and fourth quadrant. Here the value of z is x plus i y. So the theta that is the phase angle it is given by tan inverse of y by x. If the z that is complex number is minus x plus i y that is imaginary part is positive but real part is negative because it is negative real x is this side. Okay, so theta will be given by tan inverse of y upon minus x. So theta will be equals to pi minus tan inverse of y by x. That is tan inverse of y upon minus x will go, uh, become pi minus tan inverse of y by x. Pi is what? 180 degree. Okay, now here the value z will be both real and imaginary parts will be negative. So theta will be equals to tan inverse of minus y upon minus x. Minus minus will be cancelled out. So theta will become tan inverse of y upon x minus pi. Okay. Here z it will be x minus i y. Okay. So theta it will become tan inverse of minus y upon x and it will become minus tan inverse of y by x okay so this is how we find out the theta now here we are having our uh, complex number as omega square plus minus one okay that is x minus i y so here the theta that is tan inverse of x upon sorry y upon minus x this is the second quadrant so theta will become pi minus tan inverse of y by x so our phase angle phi it will become tan inverse of omega by 2 minus tan inverse of omega upon 1 then we have minus tan inverse of omega upon minus 1 so it will become minus pi minus tan inverse of omega upon 1 okay that is pi minus theta okay now this minus tan inverse of omega upon 1 minus minus plus open it plus and minus so they are cancelled out so we are left with minus pi plus tan inverse of omega by 2. So this is our phase angle equation marked as a second and here we are having the magnitude equation so mark is as 1. Now using these equations 1 and 2 we are going to form a table and then we will plot the polar plot. This is omega, m and phi. Let put take. So let us put take omega equals to 0. So magnitude will be 2 because here 0 plus 4. So it will be under root of 4 that is 2. And here 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1. So it will be 1. So our magnitude will be 2 and phase angle minus pi plus tan inverse of 0. So the angle will be minus 180 degrees because tan inverse of 0 is 0. Second, 
take the value of omega as 1. Magnitude 1 plus 4 root 5, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1, it will be 2. So root 2, root 2 and here we are going to have root 5. So when we solve the magnitude will come out to be 1.1 and phase angle it will come out to be minus 153 degrees. Similarly, take different values of omega ranging from 0 to infinity. So we have 0, 1, 2, 5 and 10. And then calculate the magnitude and phi for these values of omega. So magnitude will be If we put infinity, then magnitude will be 0 and phase angle will be minus 90 degrees. Okay, Because here tan inverse of infinity 90 degrees minus 180 plus 90, it will be minus 90 degrees. So for various values of omega, we have obtained the magnitude and the phase angle. Now we are going to plot the polar plot for this system. So polar plot will be. Imaginary and the real axis, it is 0, okay. So for omega equals to infinity, the magnitude is 0 and phase angle is minus 90 degree. This is minus 90 degree. Magnitude is 0. So this is the point. Okay. And for omega equals to 0, the magnitude is 2 and phase angle is minus 180 degree. So minus 180 degree. This is minus 180 degree and omega equals to 2. So 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.6, sorry 1.2, 1.6 and 2.0. So this is the point for omega equals to 0. And phase angle is minus 180 degree. For omega equals to 1, phase angle is minus 153. So minus 153, minus 135 minus 111 okay we have drawn all the angles now negative phase angles they are measured clockwise okay so what 0 90 minus 90 minus 101 150 degrees 3 degrees minus 180 uh, 180 degrees it will be measured anti uh, it will be measured clockwise okay mark the points and draw the uh, polar plot for this system minus 183 degrees magnitude is 1.1 so it is here then 0 0.57 0 0.21 0 0.1 and then 0. This is for omega equals to infinity. This is omega equals to 1. Join these points so that we can obtain the polar plot. Starting from omega equals to 0, terminating at omega equals to infinity. These are the points we have. So this is our polar plot of the system. Now let's draw the mirror image of this polar plot. Okay, This is the mirror image of the polar plot and it is the Nyquist plot of the system whose transfer function is okay 
Now, for checking the stability of the system, we will use the equation n equals to p minus z, and then we will observe that what are the encirclements of the point minus one plus j zero. Minus one plus j zero, it will be here. Minus one plus j zero, this point. So number of encirclements of this point is one. One time this point is encircled by this closed path. So to check the stability, we have the equation n equals to p minus z. n is one because there are one encirclement. of the point minus one plus j zero. Now P, it is also one because uh, the poles, we are having the transfer function GS, HS as S plus two upon S plus one, S minus one. So poles are S equals to one, S equals to minus one. One pole is lying on the left hand side of the S plane. So P is equals to 1 as there is one pole okay so P is also 1 now putting the values of N and P in this equation we have z equals to p minus n so z will be equals to 1 minus 1 that is 0 so z is equals to 0 okay now if z is equals to 0 then the system is closed loop stable Okay, that is the system is showing closed loop stability. But P is equals to 1 here. So the system is open loop unstable. Because here P is coming out to be 1. If P is equals to 0, then the system will be open loop stable. But here P is equals to 1. One pole is lying on the right hand side of the S plane. So the system is open loop unstable. So uh, in this way, we can draw the Nyquist plot of a system. First, we will put S equals to J omega in the transfer function. Then we will find out the magnitude and the angle conditions. We will form a table for various values of omega from 0 to infinity. We are going to find out the magnitude and the phase angles. Then we will plot the polar plot of the system. Then the mirror image of the polar plot, it will be the Nyquist plot. For checking the stability, we will use this equation n equals to p minus z. And then we will check that whether the system is open loop stable, closed loop stable or whether it is unstable or not okay so i hope this problem is clear to you thank you